Hey everyone, my name is Arati and I welcome each one of you to this channel. Today we are going to read Standard 7, History Chapter 7, The Administration of the Swaraj. What is administration? Administration is the management or control of an organization. In other words, the arrangements and tasks needed to control the operation of a plan or organization is the administration. Let's learn about the administration of the Swaraj. Shivaji Maharaj founded Swaraj. He had himself crowned. Founded is to bring something into existence. Crowned is to put a crown on someone's head in an official ceremony that makes that person king or queen. After the coronation, Maharaj accomplished Dakshin Digvijay, the conquest of the South. Accomplished is to finish something successfully or to achieve something. Digvijay is conqueror or victorious. Conquest is the process of taking control of land or people during a war. The Swaraj expanded comprising large areas of Nashik, Pune, Satara, Sangli, Kolapur, Sindudur, Gratnagiri, Raigad and Thane districts of Maharashtra. Comprising means to consist of. It also included parts of Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu states. To ensure the smooth management of the affairs of the Swaraj and to ensure people's welfare, Shivaji Maharaj set up an efficient administration. Efficient means working or operating quickly and effectively in an organized way. Asta Pradhan Mandal. Asta means eight, council of eight ministers. At the time of his coronation, Shivaji Maharaj appointed a council of eight ministers. The administration was divided into eight departments. A head was appointed for each department. Maharaj alone had the power to appoint a minister or to remove him from his position. The ministers were answerable to Maharaj for the administration of their respective departments. Shivaji Maharaj selected the council on the basis of their merit and achievements. Merit means good or worthwhile qualities. Achievement is something very good and difficult that you have succeeded in doing. He did not give them jagirs, vatans or gifts or fiefs. They were paid handsome salaries instead. Jagir is land given by king as reward for services. Vatan is hereditary land for which the holder does not have to pay revenue. In former times, a fief was a piece of land given to someone by their lord to whom they had a duty to provide particular services in return. Handsome means substantial or attractive. Now, let's learn the table of Ashtapradhan Mandal of Shivaji Maharaj. Name of the minister, designation, work. Designation is an official title or name. Moro Trimbak Pingle was the Pradhan or the Prime Minister. Work assigned to him was running the administration and making arrangements for the conquered territories. Ramchandra Nilkant Muzumdar was the Amatya or the finance minister and his work was to keep the accounts of the state. Annaji Dato was the Sachiv or the secretary. Preparing royal edicts was his work. Edicts is an official order or a public order given by an authority. Dattaji Trimbak Waknis was the mantri or minister and he was in charge of the correspondence. Correspondence means writing, receiving and reading letters, especially official or business letters. Hambira Mohite was the Senapati or the Commander-in-Chief and his work included organization of the army and protection of the kingdom. Ramchandra Trimbak Dabir was the Sumant or the Foreign Minister and he was in charge of the foreign relations. 
नीरा जी राव जी वॉज द न्यायाधीश और द चीफ जस्टिस एंड ही वॉज असाइन द वर्क ऑफ डिस्पेंसिंग जस्टिस डिस्पेंस इज टू एडमिनिस्टर और टू ग्रांट मोरेश्वर पंडित राव वॉज द पंडित राव और द हाई प्रीस्ट एंड ही लुक्ड आफ्टर रिलीजियस मैटर्स द पॉलिसी रिगार्डिंग एग्रीकल्चर एग्रीकल्चर वॉज द मेन ऑक्यूपेशन इन विलेजेस Maharaj knew the importance of agriculture that was why he paid attention to the welfare of farmers he entrusted the responsibility of organizing the land revenue system to his capable and experienced office bearer anaji datto entrusted is to give someone a thing or a duty for which they are responsible Office bearer is a person who holds a position of authority and responsibility in a government or other organization. He warned the officers that they should not collect more revenue than the amount that was fixed. Revenue is money that a government receives from taxes. He encouraged peasants to bring uncultivated land under cultivation. Peasant is a person who owns or rents a small piece of land and grows crops or keeps animals on it. Cultivation means the act of preparing land and growing crops on it or the act of growing a particular crop. Uncultivated land is the land which is not used to grow crops. If the crop was lost due to excessive rains or drought or if an enemy army had devastated the area of the village remissions were granted in land revenue and other taxes devastated is destroy or ruin drought is a long period when there is little or no rain remission is cancellation of a debt charge or penalty or the process of reducing the amount of money that is owed for something or stating that it no longer needs to be paid maharaj had instructed his officers to provide peasants with bullocks plows and good seeds for sowing plow is a farming agricultural implement used by the farmers to loosen the soil or to turn the soil as we can see in the picture plows were traditionally drawn by bullocks and oxen sowing is planting seeds village economy of that period Economy is the system of trade and industry by which wealth of a country is made and used. Agriculture was the backbone of the rural economy. In villages many occupations developed to supplement agriculture. Supplement is something that is added to something else in order to improve it or complete it, something extra. Artisans in the village produced goods and fulfilled the needs of the local people. In this sense, a village was a self-sufficient unit. Artisan is someone who does skilled work with their hands. Farmers gave a definite share from their produce to artisans. This share was called baluta. Trade and business Maharaj knew that a kingdom does not prosper without an increase in trade. Merchants bring novel goods as also certain necessities into a kingdom. Novel means new and original, not like anything seen before. Goods become available in plenty. Trade prospers adding to wealth. The view that Maharaj took of merchants is seen in the Ajnya Patra where merchants are described as follows Merchants are the ornaments of the kingdom and the glory of the king What is the Ajnya Patra Ajnya Patra is a royal edict on the principles of Maratha policy written in Modi Marathi by Ramchandra Nilkanth Muzumdar who was the amatya or finance minister in the Ashtapradhan Mandal of Shivaji Maharaj In other words Ajnya Patra is supposed to be the formal documentation of Shivaji's ideals principles and policies of state administration 
it was the policy of maharaj to protect industries an excellent example of this is the salt industry he protected the salt industry in konkan at that time traders imported salt from the portuguese territory and sold in swaraj import is to buy or bring in products from another country that affected the local trade in konkan areas So Maharaj charged heavy duty on the salt imported into Swaraj from the Portuguese territory. The intention was that the salt imported from the Portuguese territory would then cost more and as a result its import would decrease and the sale of the local salt would increase. The military organization military means relating to or belonging to the armed forces there were two main divisions of the army of shivaji maharaj infantry and cavalry in the infantry there were officers such as the havaldar jumledar etc the chief of the infantry was called sir nobat he was the highest officer in the infantry In the cavalry there were two types of cavalrymen namely shiledars and bargirs the shiledar had his own horse and weapons the bargir was provided with a horse and weapons by the state in the cavalry bargirs were more in number the ranks of the cavalry officers were similar to those of the infantry officers The highest officer in the cavalry was the Sarnobat. Nitoji Palkar, Pratap Rao Gujjar, Hambi Rao Mohite were some of the famous Sarnobats of the cavalry. Infantry is part of an army that fights on foot, that is soldiers who fight on foot. Cavalry is part of an army that fights on horseback, that is soldiers who fight on horseback. Intelligence Department Intelligence department was a department which found out secret information about the governments of other countries especially enemy governments or a group of people who collect and deal with this information It was necessary to protect the Swaraj from its enemies for this it was necessary to get precise and timely information about the movements of the enemy Precise is exact and accurate timely is at the right time It was the job of the intelligence department to obtain information about the movements of the enemies and submit it to Maharaj The intelligence service of Maharaj was very efficient Bahirji Naik was the head of the intelligence department he was extremely skilled in his job skilled is having the abilities needed to do an activity or job well he collected accurate and detailed information about surat before the raid on surat raid is a short sudden attack usually by a small group of people forts forts were of great importance in the medieval age medieval age is the middle age Medieval period is the period from 9th century CE till the end of the 18th century CE. CE means common era or Christian era used when referring to a year after the birth of Jesus Christ. Possession of a fort made it possible to keep an eye on the surrounding area. Possession means something that someone owns or has with them at a particular time or the fact that you have or own something. In case of foreign invasion it was possible to protect the people taking shelter in the fort. Invasion is an occasion when an army or country uses force to enter and take control of another country. It was possible to stock the fort with food grains, war materials, ammunition and military garrison. Ammunition means objects such as bullets and bombs that can be shot from a weapon. 
Military garrison means military outpost where troops are stationed to provide protection to an area. The word garrison is also used to the troops stationed there. The importance of forts in the foundation of Swaraj is well stated in the Ajnapatra. This kingdom was created by the late revered and exalted majesty with the possession of forts alone. Late is used to refer to someone who has died. Revere is to very much respect and admire someone or something. Revere also means regarded as worthy of great honor and respect. Exalted is high or elevated in rank, position or dignity. It also means elevated in character and noble. Elevated is raised. This line means that Swaraj was born or created by the late, very much respected and admired, elevated in dignity, rank, position, character, noble Shivaji Maharaj by the ownership of forts alone. There were about 300 forts in the Swaraj. Shivaji Maharaj built hill forts like Pratapgarh, Pavangarh and Rajgarh. There was a Kiledar, a Sabnis and a Karkhanis on every fort. The Karkhanis looked after the storage of food grains and the maintenance of war material on the fort. Maharaj knew the importance of sea forts too. One of the sea forts that he built was in the Durg at Malvan. It is an excellent sea fort. To give strength to the construction of the fort, five khandis of lead was poured into its foundation. Khandi is a measure of weight and capacity. One khandi is equal to 746.48 kgs. Lead is a heavy metal. A sea fort called Padmadurga was built in front of Rajapuri in order to counter the Siddhi power. About this fort, Maharaj has said in a letter that by constructing Padmadurga, he had set up another Rajapuri to overshadow the Rajapuri of the Siddhi. Overshadow means to be much taller than another building and therefore block the sun from it. Counter is to react to something with an opposing opinion or action or to defend yourself against something. Enemies on the west coast of India, the Portuguese of Goa, the Siddhi of Janjira and the British factors of Surat and Rajapur created obstacles in the work of expanding the Swaraj. It was necessary to curb their activities and to protect the west coast. For this purpose, Maharaj raised a navy. Curb is to control or limit something that is not wanted. He realized that the one who has a navy controls the sea. Maharaj had great foresight. Foresight is the ability to judge correctly what is going to happen in the future and plan your actions based on this knowledge. There were 400 ships of various kinds in his navy. They included battleships like the Gurab, Galbat and Pal. Battleship is a very large military ship. Ships were built in the creek of Kalyan Bhivanti, Vijaydurg and Malvan. Menak Bhandari and Dalat Khan were the chief naval commanders. Creek is a narrow area of water that flows into the land from the sea, a lake, etc. Creek also means a small river or stream. Concern for the welfare of his subjects. Maharaj did not work only with the limited ambition of conquering enemy territories and establishing dominance like other kings. His main objective was to make his subjects independent. He was aware that if his subjects were to really get the joy of freedom, it was necessary to have a disciplined administration, take comprehensive care of people's welfare and protect the conquered territories. Comprehensive is complete and including everything that is necessary.
subjects are persons who live in or who have the right to live in a particular country especially a country with a king or a queen maharaj was not merely a ruler he was a watchful administrator who cared for his people's welfare administrator is a person who is in a position of authority or who manages people practices and policies This is clearly seen in his administration of the state. The lesson ends here. Thank you for being with me in this lesson.